With almost 500 sessions at Next 2019, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Worried About Application Performance, cache it, then stay tuned, because here's the rewind. When developing an application, there are several things that are fundamental. Speed, response time, availability, and cost to run. It doesn't matter how good your application is, if it stutters or takes too long to respond, it'll never succeed. In-memory caching is a common pattern you see to achieve that performance that you need. In-memory caching helps reduce latency and cost by taking frequently accessed data and retrieving it from memory when possible rather than disk. There's quite a bit going on beneath the surface to properly do caching. So this means that while it's a common concept, there's plenty to learn about optimization and your options, particularly around using a Redis process. Redis is an open source in-memory data structure store. That means it holds anything you put into it in active memory instead of on disk. Redis is popular because it's more than just a key value store. It supports a bunch of different data structures. It has high availability and persistence. Redis is usable for many different use cases, not just for caching. When you're moving to the cloud, getting rid of infrastructure management is often top of the mind, and that includes managing and monitoring your cache. So that's where Google's Cloud Memory Store comes in. Memory Store is a managed solution, fully compatible with the Redis protocol, which means you get all the awesome of Redis without any of the management. Memory Store helps you optimize in three main ways since it's a managed service. One, updates and security patching are all taken care of. Two, it's got high availability and reliability with automatic failover and replication. And three, it's scalable and it's secure. Cloud Memory Store comes in two different packages to suit your needs. First, the basic tier, it's a standalone regional instance of Redis. And then the standard tier is a cross-zone replicated instance. Since the GA launched six months ago, many updates have been added to Memory Store, including manual failover for testing, access from App Engine's second generation runtimes, more regions, metrics, and some compliance certifications. But these expansions don't stop there. The team's currently working to add many more capabilities to Memory Store, things like shared VPC, an instance-level authentication, and Redis clustering. In addition to a live demo showing how simple it is to set all of this up, the talk goes over some best practices for storing data, eviction policies, and memory management, and then a breakdown of what to monitor from Stackdriver, things like CPU usage and alerts, keys present in memory, failovers, and how to best scale based on growth. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching. <laughs>